Say I got in my cup though. Shawty climbing my phone, she got me locked in. I'm cup though. Cocaine in my nose, say I got rose in my cup though. Running the uh, Warrior X3 kit, I've liked it. I like it that much. I've got another one because I'm already running one here on the 3030 12 gauge. So I'll show you what we sort of get in this kit. Right, it lens caps. I'll give you a look quick. It's a green one. The green one's more for fog. And red is more like an IR night, night setting, so if animals can't see you, you can sneak around. The red one. I don't bother about any of that. I just go like this. Put that in there. Like that. I just use my thumb. I use the thumb like this. And why I do that is for two reasons. Because I don't have a pressure switch, like this one. These are just a magnetic, magnetic thing, lock on and they, they pull off. They, they don't pull off, they're, they're locked on there. But guys, on, off, on, off, low. Now these are pretty good for bolt actions and that sort of thing, you can wrap it up here. So guys, I have I have had a bit of problems with these in the past, getting caught on the in the stand over cane and that sort of thing. So it is a bit of an issue for me, and I don't run one. But I'll have a bit of a go for it tonight, boys, and show you what it's like if if I can. But I'm just more or less showing you the kit. Now their pressure switches, I think, are pretty generic for everything Olight make. It's all about the torch. And this torch is good because I got one here and I got another one there. So it also comes in the kit. Got some Velcro things for the side of your rifle. Comes with a charger. They got a five year warranty as well, guys, too. Come with a light mount for your scope. And of course, they come with the um, Warrior 3X. They have this tactical ring here. That's for when you're holding it, holding it tactically. It's like, so you can't drop it. But we don't need that. I'm gonna need this baby. So guys, that's what I'm running tonight through Olight. So make sure you check out their sale and use the links in the description to go and get yourself one if you like this product. Because I do, because I've got two of them. And um, for anything else that's not on sale, use my product code CPQ10. Gets you further 10% off. Anyway guys, let's get into this hunt and see how we go. We've got no plans for tonight. We're just going to drive around and see how we go. We've got a full moon. Bloody hell. The old mates come out for a bit of a run. Cody's come out. I've got Lola in a different plate tonight because all her, in, her under her arms are all just all rashed up. They're all been rubbed through. They're all scabbed up. So try a different plate on her tonight because this one was for my old dog and it was he was about the same sort of size as her. What do you reckon? Oh. 
Can I get one? Can I get one tonight, mate? Oh, I fucking hope so. I hope so. Good bastard tonight. We'll see if we can get another tunner to join the party. A couple of tunners in the ute. We might as well make it a third <laughs> hanging off the back. Just, you know, keep things even. But anyway, we'll get down the paddock, have a bit of a look and see how we go. It's been a bit wet, but anyway, as I said, walk when you have to, drive where we can. Something like that, I say. Something like that. Anyway, let's get going. You gonna pull your shit tonight, Lola? She hasn't been jumping off. I was, they were jumping the other night, trying to go into the mangroves, and um, I was rousing them because I didn't really feel like going down the mangroves. Now, ever since I've done that, she doesn't want to jump when Molly jumps. Being silly, aren't you? I thought it might have been that. Might have been her armpits because I noticed her armpits were all red raw. I thought, well, maybe that might be it. So we're trying a different plate and see as she goes. And if that fixes it, well, it was a plate, not me. But if the plate if the plate doesn't fix it, well. Are you going to are you going to go for a look tonight? Yes. Oh. Right, we're hunting. I just pulled up here and just threw the dogs in the back and there's a good set of tracks here, so hopefully we can run into that. That'd be alright. Looks like a pretty good pig, so hopefully we can run into that. But anyway, just start off Ute fine and see how we go. Oh, the dogs have had a bit of a jump. It's sort of been around here everywhere, the, the, the pigs, but Sort of just there's no breeze at the moment, so they, they've had they've had a jump and they're just looking around at the moment. So we'll see. Breeze is playing havoc. As soon as the dogs come back, we put them on the ute and start driving again. And then as soon as we start driving, they take off. They've got to be here somewhere. Fresher down the bottom there, but. Mm. We'll see what happens. We'll see if they go and have a bit of a look. It's need a bit of breeze. It's wet. The pigs would be pretty well using the water as cover and that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna hit up. What will happen is this will go flat, and I'll run in there, and then I just heard them hit up. They're all pain in the ass when it happens. You're running in there and they got one, you think, where the fuck are they? This here, it's not too old. Hopefully we get them in the return. But what'll probably happen is we'll just jam footballs all night. They're at 170, having a look. They'll be just using the water and stuff to their advantage. And this time of year too, they bed up in this blady grass here. And they go way out in this cattle country and bed up. So, We'll see. All we're really doing, we're just listening now. You'll hear it when you break the mob, it'll explode. And then you'll start hearing them run around, and then we can try and shoot them. But I haven't heard anything yet, so they might not be in here, but possibly very good chance they are. They just need to find them. Anyway, we'll keep going. If I've got to chuck 20 lockies around it, well, I will. That's what I will do. Just keep blocking it. You eventually get your win. You eventually stir something up. Right, the dogs worked that block for a fair, fair while. We can hear one trotting across the block. So we're going to try and focus on that because we haven't hit any mob stuff. And it's probably a good pig that's following the mob around. So we sort of know which way he, he's gone. So we just get up here and turn around and go back around and see if we can um, stir him up or he breaks into some easier country, or the dogs just get a good whiff. We'll see how we go, dogs just jump. We've just seen a little pig run across the paddock about 40 kilos, so we'll see how they go. Probably lose it. The one you see is the one you never get, so. Hmm, they blown it. He's gone. <laughs> 
these pigs are being pains. They must have heard us when we drove past them. The dogs didn't smell them because there was no wind. But they got around on the other side and they jumped and the dogs were working that one area. I'm sort of thinking, the pigs heard us drive past and thought Tom hit the road. I've lost it. Dog's back. It's always the way. It's always the way. The one you see is the one you never get. These dogs are jumping, going out a little way, they're coming back, jumping on the ute. I wonder if it's a fog starting to set in, trying to push the scent down a bit. They drive a little bit and they jump again. The dog's are gone again, so I don't know. If any of them is that a ute, I need a new one. I need a new CV. I, knew, I need a refurb with the old girl. But anyway, just. Just sitting and hanging back. I'm hanging back, having a bit of a listen, and eh, see what happens. And they have a big ball just run across in front of us, so we're just trying to push them on and see what happens. So, with any luck, we get a bit of action here. Right, we're blocking them up. They've got under him and they're floating now, so we're going to go and block him up and see if we can, um, yeah, block him up. The you know, reason we block them for is try and turn them back into the dogs or get a shot on them. But we weren't expecting him to come across the road, we just thought they were just having a little bit of a look. So, it's going to get this camera out of my face and initiate the old uh, cane dog hustle. Let's see where we go. Oh, sound like a handful of, mouthful of balls. He must have already blew. You're heading to that standover. Let's just keep going. I reckon he's heading straight out. Oop. Yeah. We might just send it straight down there. Once we get past the dogs. The dogs are just here. So Lola's dropped off now because she's heard us. Molly's still fucking up him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's running on that pad here. Yeah. Just listen for him. We must have turned him. When we drove past him. You there? Yeah. We must have turned him. Really? Yeah, yeah, because Molly's gone back up in the track. Yeah, yeah, was, Molly's blowing back out this way now. That's him. Where's that? He's fucking down here somewhere. Right, we managed to block him up and they hit him again here, we got the dogs back and we could hear him here and we hit him again. Now he's gone again, so we're going to go and try and block him up again. So, I'm puffing because I've been running trying to block him up by foot. It worked, I don't think he's come out yet. So we'll go up here and have a look. Anyway, the dogs jumped again on his scent right in this bloody frosted cane. So we'll see, what, we'll see, we'll see. Too, you know. Right. Oh, barking. If they bark, if Molly barks, we got him. We're trying to grab him. Usually a handful of nut. Now they're running back this way. 
Take him. Did you hear the bark? Yeah, I don't know. Now they're pinning straight back here. Why no, don't no, we think we've got onto him again? But it sounds like there's one just in front of us here somewhere. And they've sort of, they've, we're pretty sure it's, well, I'm pretty sure it's him again. Because they've gone on the tracks and they're, he's just acting like a bull. And um, I heard a bark before, using Molly barking, like, bark like that when he's got a mouthful. It sounded like a mouthful and they come punching back this way still. So I'm not starting the car up. So I want to listen for which way he's going. I want to make sure it's definitely him. I want to just try and block him up by foot. If I can. Anyway. Bloody hell. Well, we had to get in the car and block him up because they went five under. We had to come around and we managed to turn him again, I think. We've turned him. He's gone back a different way. It sounded like he punched back off in there. So we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Just driving around, driving around, driving around. We might even go back up where we could, thought we could hear the other one. And Anyway. We'll just keep covering the exits where he's going to go. That's all we can do. And keep blocking. Oh, blocker, blocker, blocker. Yeah, there he's in there. Listen to him. No, no, maybe not. Oh, I, might be get, I might be getting too keen, buddy. Oh, yeah, look. That's him. Yeah, so that's fresh. That's yeah. just sort of on ours, isn't it? Yep. I bet you he hasn't touched the fucking ground again here. Oh, just there. He's... Yeah. He's a good pig. He might have that first one, eh? might have been backtracking. Maybe. But then it looked like he's coming in. Same spot, too. I wonder if it's a different pig. But they're not keen, but they're not keen here. So I wonder if it's a... They've jumped again, just up from where we were, but we just have a look at the tracks and there's a real big set of tracks. And it doesn't look like the one that we were chasing originally, but it could be wrong. We've always come to a verdict. We might be chasing two, a separate one and that was already here and him. And being a lone boar and not having a lover with him, he would have paired straight up with him. They're two dominant pigs. Well, they're not going to want to blow. They're both trying to do the same thing, aren't they? They're not. They're not silly enough to sacrifice each other. But they just keep going in here. It's like we think he's blown, but they're not keen. You know, they're not keen to keep pushing out on the pad. So it could be two separate pigs. We bumped into him, chasing him, the other one. Well, dogs are jump, screaming jump was a real good jump. They're just working just in here, they are. So we'll see what happens. He went blowing. There he is. Good pig. He sounds decent. Just trying to think how we're going to get in there. Oh, you just there. The Just here. He's a good. Thank <laughs> you.
Hello, you're happy about yourself. That time, he'd run out, didn't he? Mm -hmm. You hear him coughing, eh? It's like <laughs> the fucking rest of them been getting run out, drawn out, fucking things. Well, he might not even go, he's 80, you know? Well, we end up getting a good pig right in front of us, and um, he's well deserved because Jesus Christ, we were running around. This is not the original pig we've seen, this is a different pig, so. But I tell you what, we've been working for him, and um, the dog's got him right in front of us. So I was just rooting around with me torch and my gun and standing on the other side of the car. And I tell you what, didn't I get a spring in my step when I heard that bastard? But anyway, we've got a good boar here. We thought he might have went bigger than he did. Well, I haven't weighed him yet, but he felt he felt bigger. The dogs are actually still working around in the cane, if you can hear. They're still working around in there. So this could be the lover to the bigger one. But when I grabbed him with both, le but, like, both legs, I thought, oh, he feels like a good pig. And Cody ran and stuck him for me. I had him, and I thought, oh, well, Cody stuck him. And he felt like he would be 80, 90, but dragging him out, he only felt like he'd be 70. But anyway, I'll give you a look. Dogs are still in the cane here. Right, we might as well weigh him. We still, I'm still running the Origin Ball comp, so he still counts. So anyway, we'll um, get him up and give him a bit of a weigh. And... Oh, okay. Everything okay there? Or... Are you right now? Yeah. You find one. Do you have a win, mate? Do you have a win? Oh, how'd you go? Do you have a win, mate? What about you? No. What was it? What do you reckon? Oh no, that's enough now. Yes. You can have a little bit of that. You rank little boy. He's only young too. You think got little buddy. Little gammon little tusks. Oh no, they got a little bit they, they got a little bit of size on them. What do you think? What do you think? Yes. I'm just sitting here thinking about his little tusks and I just see a little bit of a skin mark there on Lola, so what do you think, missus? Oh, I'm getting some love here. Oh. You're not hurt, are you? Oh, no tummy, no tummy hanging out. Oh, there's nipple. You dogs are... <coughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, hold on to him, now, bud. Oh, fucking bug. Hold on to him. <coughs> oh, fuck yeah. me, dad. Fuck fucking hell. Fuck him. I thought you were going to say it's not the first time you gag like that. <laughs> Oh, well, anyway, <coughs> after all that, <coughs> I'm still fucked here. Anyway, we'll weigh him up and we'll see how he goes. Jesus Christ, we got him going. I don't know. I thought 70, but I might be wrong. Yeah, he's off. What is he? Fuck, not even 70. Oh, the flogger. Yeah. I didn't think he was, eh? Hey? He's... 67 is he? Ah. He's just drawn right? out. Fuck, he'd be a good 80. He'd be he a would. Eight, good 80 when he's Well, that's when I grabbed him. He's just drawn out. He is, yeah. That was Jack Russell ass. No more. Oh, he only went 69, but um, uh, 67. It was 67, it was yeah. 67, yeah. 67. When I grabbed him, I thought, oh, he might go. He's fucking, you know, he might go. He's 80, 85. That's why I was holding because I was on off cam because I was standing like one in the drill and one in the row. I thought oh, I'll just wait for, for Cody and it felt like there was a heap of pull on him, but it must have been the bloody dog power we had on it. <laughs> <laughs> so it felt bigger and then we drag and we're like, oh no, no. What did you say? 75, yeah. 70. He was 67. But I tell you what, he's drawn out. He is drawn out. He's ranking, he's drawn out. Like he'd be every day a 
80 kilo pig all day. Look at how narrow he is in the, Easy. In the guts here. Easy. Look, just how narrow, like. He does have a big, big toe on him, eh? Forty, forty is. Yeah. Is he be a heavier oh, pig? Could've, he could have been that other on the bottom. He could have been. He could have been. Cut, like, cut the scrub and come in here. Easy. Yeah, well, he has got a good, good mm -hmm. set of trotters on him. Mm -hmm. Especially if he's walking, prancing yeah. with a mob of sows, he'd be sort of strutting his shit. Fucking hell. And he'd be banging too. This time of year, there's a heap of suckers on the ground, yeah. so he'd have been just rifling sows All flat day. out. All day. But yeah, he, his tusks are a little bit thicker, so he would be probably his 18 months, sort of 24 months, sort of old. But yeah, he'd have been 80 kilo pig. But even just just to look at his tracks, like, better to be that fella. That, that'll be that brick that blew out down there, I reckon. Hundred percent. Under the goat bag here. Yeah. She's been fucking looked like yours, buddy. She's been yeah. hammered, been around the block a few times. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, mate. Yeah, she. <laughs> I tell you what. Anyway, we'll throw this. Um... Oh, we probably won't... no, we won't need to throw it on the back of the ute. We can just drag it off in the bush here. Yeah, looking, yeah. Anyway, we don't need to um, put him put him on the ute. But, I'll, but you watch, we go out and we'll get a jump and we'll get another one. So we'll have to come back here and put him on. Oh, well, oh it we'll, is what it is. We'll be them floggers. We'll yeah, be them floggers. well, you've got to be a flogger Fucking to own. compete with other floggers. That's right. You've got to blend in. Yep. If you can't be a flogger, we'll just blend in. Yep, that's exactly right. I've got no drama as being a flogger anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just ask anyone. But yeah, no, we'll, we'll, um, if we don't get any more jumps, guys, um, that'll be it. 67 kilos good little boar geez we work for it um if you like any of the products i'm using all the links are in the description make sure to check out olight use my product code cpq10 get up these origin boars guys get up the origin boars send them over to me to my facebook and instagram my facebook business page only um specify what state you're in and who you support not so much the state you're in but just who you support guys because i want to be running around chasing you just um and send them over and Queenslander up the Maroons and hopefully we get some action anyway guys bloody oath bloody oath I'm just packing up um, old Molly and Lola here but I run Lola around a different plate today because she's been rubbing underneath her arms but this plate here I actually used to be my old dog's plate, but um, we were the same size of it. But I actually won that plate at Feebine Big Ball Comp at Feebine. Just down the road, we had, they had the big ball comp there a few years ago. I got third biggest ball, which I think is a bit of a stitch up because Darren Beddoe's got second. He was first, but at the time, this bloke come in and anyway, long story short, he rolled up and didn't have a pig gutted and all this. And his pig actually um, went, oh, he's a good pig, nut pig it was. It was oh, 140 odd kilos, I think. He was a big bastard. But yeah, a lot of the hunters were carrying on about it. Oh, fuck, fuck him, you know, yada, 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 you know. But he still made it on time and they, he managed to get the guts out of it and um, he managed to weigh it. So he got first. Big Beddoes, Darren Beddoes got from hooks to hook. He got second and I got third. I got third. I think mine was oh, 109, 109 with his guts out. So that's a pretty good pig. I mean, actually, um, and I actually won biggest hooks too. So I won a prize for third, and then I got that that collar there for the biggest hooks. So it's old pigger frigger plate, the old pigger frigger. I've actually got a few of them. I actually um, didn't really like it at the start, and then I put it on. And I started using it. And I ended up buying another couple. So, but yeah, we're running that. They're just a bit of background. I'm running these plates now. They're old fire hose ones, and um, they seem to go all right, but that's just not, it's a custom, they're custom made ones. That one there was custom made, the one Molly's wearing for Molly, and the one was custom made for Tony, but I'm going to have to get one for Lola. But she seemed to run well in that one, so she seemed to jump a little bit more and have a bit more of a go. So anyway, we'll finish it up there, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you check us out on socials. Go and give us a follow. Go and give us a like. And uh, make sure you use descriptions. Go and see our pig draggers on our website. Links in the description, guys. And bloody oath.
Thanks for putting up with the ads. Because even if you did get the shits with them, I still would put them in there. Because it's too bad, so sad. <laughs> Blokes gotta make some bloody fuel money. Your old mate gate bag over here getting ready. He got to go to work tomorrow. Yeah. Right? Oh. He's out, but he's having a look. You gotta be in it to win it. Good. Just gotta whack a couple of staples in old Lola. It's nothing bad, just a little bit of a skin wound. But guys, check out the link in the description. I got uh, them for sale on their website. I got a heap of merch coming and stuff too, but I'm, I'm bloody broke ass. But we got. It's been sitting in my ute for a little bit. It's been sitting in my ute for a little bit, but. We got 10 packs of them. We got three packs. Go and check them out. Use the links in the description, guys, for these staple guns there. I've got to, get, I've got to use it on um, old Lola. Nothing bad, but I'm not going to show you guys. But anyway, we got them there. We got some vet wrap coming. And me merch, everyone. I'm broke ass. I'm trying. Bear with me. I'm, I'm, it is coming. The big fella just needs to lend us some money. <laughs> well, everyone needs to start following and watching the bloody video. Share me around. Get your mates onto me. So I can get some views. So I can get some merch for every bastard. I'll do them cheap too, I promise. I'll do it. Anyway, guys. I'm going this time. I'm actually going. Oh. I keep pretending like I'm gone, but I'm not. I'm, I still keep thinking of things. You guys, you get always carry a good vet bag with you. Bit of stuff, a snake bite kit. I got a tourniquet. I got a tourniquet on my hip here, I think, somewhere. But you got a little. I got a little um, first aid kit here. Stop bleed. Some pressure bandages, that sort of thing here on my hip. In there. Because if you're in a stand over 300 meters, you need something to stop bleeding and that. Well, I've got it with me. I got um, snake bite kit, vet wrap. Bit of this, bit of that. This stuff is magic. Always carry that. Oop, that's old. Probably should be disposed of. But anyway, don't worry about that. But guys, always carry a good, uh, good uh, first aid kit because it's useful for you and the dogs. Anyway, tip of the week. <laughs>